Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Google is testing a redesigned layout for Chrome's new tab page in the desktop version of the browser. Now currently when it comes to shortcuts, as we can see, this is what the feature is all about. If you have enabled um, shortcuts, we currently get a two-row layout. So we get two rows of shortcuts, which can be enabled by heading to Customize Chrome, Customize this page, Shortcuts, and yeah, you can include my shortcuts, most visited sites, and you can also hide those shortcuts. Now, um, this could all be set to change as part of Google Chrome's refresh for this year, 2023, as I have been posting on, where um, it seems now that Google may be changing this from a two-row layout to a single row instead. So it'll be one row, but a wider row. So it'll basically take on the width of the browser instead of having two rows. And this is currently being tested in Google Chrome Canary version 114, which is the latest preview version of the browser. Now, it's not a default feature, so you can't head to your settings and enable a option. And um, once again, like most features in Canary, it is hidden behind an experimental developer flag, which if you want to enable to try out this new layout, um, it's quite simple as always. We head to the address bar, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search on the flags page, the easiest to bring up the relevant flag would just to type, be to type in NTP single. And here's the relevant flag. NTP single row shortcuts. The description reads, shows shortcuts in a single wide row, as I mentioned, on the new tab page. As always, we change that from default to enabled, and then we will have to relaunch Google Chrome Canary to apply that flag. And now if we head back to the new tab page, you'll see that the two row layout has now been replaced with a single row and one row of shortcuts, which as mentioned, will also be a wider row. So it won't and when this does fill up, it'll just um, carry on across the width of the browser instead of moving into two rows. And um, at this stage, though, there are reports that um, we sh should see new chips, um, what they're calling material design looking chips for each shortcut name. Now, I'm not seeing that yet. So it means that there's going to be a kind of like a material U um, tab around each name of each shortcut, which will give it a more modern look, but I'm not seeing it as yet in my region, so that could be on a controlled rollout. But nonetheless, uh, just letting you know about this new uh, change, um, which is part of Google's new 2023 Chrome Refresh Visual Redesign, as I have been posting. And if you want more info regarding the Chrome Refresh for 2023, then just do a search on the channel. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.